Piracy is still a massive issue and I don't think we've um, turned a corner in, in any way. The people who are stealing the music are the people that kind of would never have bought it anyway. The main problem is that there is just no, there's no fear of any kind of reprisals. You, you would never walk into HMV and walk out with five or six CDs up your jumper, but everyone is, is more than happy to download you know, a track that they just couldn't find on a download store or that was just easy and it was in front of them. You know, people find it perfectly acceptable to download TV shows and I think there's a lot of misconception about how much damage that actually does to the industry. Um, people seem to think, oh, it's okay, DJ X has written this track, but you know, he's rich so it doesn't matter. But the record labels that provide that music, stores like ours, um, there's a lot of links in the chains, agents, PR companies, and without this machine that dance music is working together, without the finances behind that, it does kind of fall apart. We've seen many labels, big and small, simply disappear from the landscape because either they can't afford to make ends meet or the reality is that it's just not worth it for them anymore. Um, Dance music can be an unthankful uh, business sometimes, and uh, you know there's there's not a lot of money to be made in the industry unless you're at one of the top echelons of it. But uh, you know people do do this for a passion, and uh, but people also need to eat. So you know stop stealing, start buying. I think the the format issue is has always been a great debate. You know we're even going back to times of cassette tapes and CDs and. You know, I remember initially when, when CDs came, I was pretty disgusted with it and, you know, vinyl was king. Um, for me, the format doesn't matter. It's not the important thing. It's, it's the music. But obviously, as, as a business, formats are very important to us. Um, we were the first store to actually uh, supply full quality WAV files. Um, they are increasingly uh, selling in better quantities. And I think because people now have larger storage drives on their computers and laptops, they have better internet connections to access the files within the first place. Um, that's a, a trend that's going to continue. You can't get better than, than a WAV file. Um, and so that really, I think, will become the MP3 of tomorrow. People talk about um, FLAC files and, and, and various other formats, and I think really, the reality is we've just seen iTunes have to sort of ditch their format to go MP3 and, and, uh, and DRM free. The reality is people want the easiest format to work with. Um, once we've got over the hurdle of storage space and bandwidth issues uh, and, and being able to download a track fast enough, then there's really no issue in having the best quality file available to you, which is the WAV file. So that's where I see things heading and I, I don't think anything is going to jump out of the woodwork uh, in the immediate f uh, future but um, certainly you know formats are set to evolve history teaches that and uh, in 20 years time who knows what will be available but uh, for the moment I think WAV is the future. I think uh, Pioneer basically was one of the major catalysts of, of bringing about mp3 download stores and, and taking music digitally with, with the CDJ range and um, you know, typically for 15 years or, or more, you know, we'd had the SL1210, and, and that was the industry standard, and no one could really see it moving forward. We had the technology, the CDJ technology, for quite some years before the actual music sales went digital. Um, I see now people playing with laptops, and uh, you know, in various different forms of Tractor and Serato, and. Uh, you know, also there's, there's the CDs, J's, people still play vinyl though in, in smaller amounts and I think actually what's, what will happen is again someone like Pioneer will come up with a new integrated system. Uh, many of the, the laptop systems and you know, things like Serato has a lot of connected equipment and I think probably where we're heading is more integrated equipment, less wires, less cabling, less points of failure. Um, you know, I was out at a club at the weekend and uh, to see a friend of mine DJ and his laptop crashed four times in an hour. That is you know, the major worry for me. I think what we need is a, a serious piece of industry standard kits that uh, can do everything, that will play files but will play them in much the same way as uh, we currently use CDJs. So, 
I, again, you know, people sort of talk about, oh, that's not really DJing using a laptop, is he just checking his email? I think it opens up so many possibilities, as people like Richie Horton have proved, of, of how you can manipulate the music. But uh, it doesn't matter what you use, it's, you know, it's the music that matters at the end of the day. But certainly, I think there are going to be some big changes in, in uh, the, the tools used to put the music out there. And uh, I'm excited to see what's coming next. I think uh, technology is great and long may it live. We've actually been trying to put together a, a visual store for a couple of years now and I think um, much as I've just said about the, the equipment situation for DJs, we are in a situation now where we have an industry standard piece of kit for DVJing and uh, what we really need is the content. The main problem that we're facing is finding suppliers of like content. Um, we would very much like to, to launch a visual store in the near future. I think it's an area of, of dance music and performance that is going to take off. Um, and uh, we'd certainly like to be at the forefront of providing that content. So really it is the, the chicken and egg situation. And I think we've got the chicken or the egg at the moment with the kit and uh, now we need the content for it. So uh, as soon as there are suppliers ready to provide us with that content for digital download, we will start providing it to our customers. Not, not, uh, not, not, uh.